since the Baylor baseball season just ended, like literally minutes ago, I'm going to give my state of the program. And first of all, they ended the season strong with four straight wins. And I know this year it was disappointing because we were 6-18 and 18 in conference and 20-35 and 35 overall. But when you look at the conference games, there were some games that were close. For example, the Oklahoma State game on the road in our first game, we only we lost in 11 innings, 11 to 9. We also lost to Kansas at Kansas that won that last game 5 to 4. Yeah, we were right there against Oklahoma like to potentially get a another win there. We lost that game 6 to 3 at home in that second game before winning the last game to win the series. We also were very competitive with Texas. I mean, we lost 11 to 9 in that first game. And Texas was a ranked team at the time, but they're no longer ranked. Granted, I know. And they lost to him 7-6 six, to six on that Sunday. So, really, they were really competitive. And that West Virginia, that first game down here, we lost 5-4. to four. And that was against a team that got a share of the Big 12 at least. Maybe they were going to be at least a two-seed. For sure, I, like I don't know, they're definitely going to be a host side in the regional this year. I would think so, based on ranking and resume. We're right there against TCU twice. I mean, five to one. That I don't know about that one being close, but two to one. Yeah, last week we needed to beat TCU twice last week, just to give ourselves a chance in the NCAA. I mean, for the Big Twelve tournament, which only has eight teams. So, but I know overall in the roster, we're only going to lose one guaranteed guy. But here's the kicker. We're adding 14. Some players have to go. They have to. You can't have that many guys. Because in this, I mean, first of all, like, baseball rosters are smaller. I mean, this year was like, the normal number is, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Yeah. That's where we were at. We're gonna be over the limit with if you bring all those guys in. And there's potentially maybe another one as an incoming player too. I was not sure. A few weeks back we got commit, but I'm not sure it was for the class of twenty twenty three or twenty twenty four. From what I told it's twenty twenty three, so I don't know. We're gonna have to revamp this roster. First of all, it's not just a one particular issue deal, but when you look at the pitching ERA for the whole season, we're the worst in the Big 12, if not the one of the worst. We're definitely one of the worst in the Big 12, possibly in the country. When you look at the ERA, that's a problem. But this past month, I know, has been better. But the problem is, you can't just have good pitching to start at the end of the season when it, your season's on the line. We need to be more consistent. And it's not just, that's not the only issue. The hitting at times was the issue. I mean, we had a hot offense. I mean, we we're not really great offensively at times this year. Well, uh, at other times we were good. It's just, And then we hit a little, hit, hit the wall at one point in the season in the Big 12 that we couldn't do anything. And you can't have that. And of course the fielding was a problem too. So it's a combination of things. Not just the pitching, not just the hitting, not just the fielding. It's everything. Seriously. And I don't know what they're going to do in the Big 12 tournament for next year because I know BYU has baseball. I know Houston has baseball. I know UCF has baseball. I'm pretty sure Cincinnati has 
bait uh, doesn't have baseball but I'm gonna check because you know not every school has baseball like Iowa State for example or not some teams have don't have certain sports while well, others do like men's tennis I know Kansas Kansas State Iowa State West Virginia don't have that Cincinnati Houston and I don't quite frankly know what they're going to do for the Big 12 tournament next year because I think and I could be really wrong on this I think there's 12 teams in baseball again I think so for the first time since Iowa State got rid of baseball on those years ago Actually, Cincinnati does have baseball. My bad. They do, but they don't have softball. So, yeah, 13 teams. I don't know what they're going to do with the scheduling either. I'm pretty sure BYU has baseball, but I better double check. I know Houston does. Yep, they do. BYU does. And I'm pretty sure UCF does. Yep, they do. So, yeah. We're going to have 13 teams in a conference next year to have baseball. What in the world they're going to do for the Big 12 tournament next year? I have no clue. I just think this is a, was going to be a hard year anyway. First of all, we got a whole new staff and a lot of new players, and some of them transferred out slash went to the MLB draft. Trey Richardson is now at TCU, and we're going to have to revamp this roster. And I'm not just saying bringing all those fresh incoming guys either or JUCOs that are signed with Baylor either. I'm talking about transfer portal. You got That's the best way to get better besides getting your own recruits long term yeah and that would help but I'm just saying to help the roster even more and you might have to tell some guys sorry but you're out of here I hate to do that but at some point you gotta do something to get better and I'm trust Mitch Thompson and staff to revamp this roster they're gonna have to and I mean they're gonna have six players and and a pair of them are like two white players so yeah which is gonna help a lot and you know it gets crazy is I know roster what there's no way we're gonna keep everybody on the roster there's no way because they're gonna have to trim that down with the fall and they have to do that in the summer as well and I expect attrition to happen it's going to happen it's a matter of when I would say next year and we were like 20 and 35 this year mm, not, not as bad as it could have been I mean it could have been worse but at the same time we could have won more games to help ourselves but I don't know about NCAA tournament being an expectation for next year at all I really don't know I would also first I would say more wins than the this year for sure that's the goal for next year I would also say depending on the Big 12 tournament find a way to get to the Big 12 tournament and then from there, whatever happens, happens. And I don't want that to be the expectation. Like, at the minimum, just making it, and that's it. Eventually, I know we want to be an NCAA tournament team. But this takes time. Because we're changing the style of play. We're going more for not so much small ball. We're a little more power. I mean, we're trying to change that. The identity and the culture 
not really the culture, but you know the identity of the team. I mean, not on, not just on the field and how you play, but in the locker room too. So that's just some thoughts in my head, and I know it looks like we're gonna bring back everybody else except one player. That ain't gonna be the case. Prepare for that because in the spring there's going to be smaller I mean there's going to be some guys cut and some of these guys this year they're not like bad it's just maybe they're better as a DH and some of these guys are really really young too I mean it's some like not just young as freshmen but and we didn't think the pitching was going to be as bad as it was yeah that is just one thing we gotta fix. But everything needs to be fixed. We gotta go back to the fundamentals. And I'm sure we're gonna do that. Anyways, if you like this content, like and subscribe and see you guys there. Find the scars around the road too. Let's go. And we're gonna have to wait and see what happens in the off season here. Anything could happen. I mean transfer portal. Addition and subtraction. You never know.